What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Prophet Junkie, in the building. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys a quick, up, quick update on um, what I did on Thursday and the decisions I made. All right. So on Thursday, I ended up buying a UCO at a two, 226 around, uh, let me see. <clears throat> I think it was around this area. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I bought around this area. Bought around that area. And uh, the funny thing is, I legit bought. I legit bought right after I sold uh, SEO, the inverse of that position. Two seconds, maybe three seconds later. <laughs> so I was probably, uh, I want to say in this area. No, I was probably in this area where I made a few dollars and uh, I didn't think it was gonna go any higher, even though I knew mentally that that's the stock I wanted to play on Thursday. I ended up changing my mind <clears throat> and not following through. But anyways, uh, with that being said, I sold SEO on Thursday and uh, I, I decided to swing trade UCO. And for UCO, I bought, I bought 1500 shares at 226. And uh, yeah, so clearly it went down all the way to 192. Terrified me for a second, but I knew it was gonna make a recovery because based on the conversation Russia and Saudi Arabia had, there was a sense of uh, like an agreement, even though like the US and Canada and the other countries weren't technically in until as of yesterday, But anyways, Trump posted about, I wanna say five hours ago. Uh, let me see, Russia, Saudi, Saudi Arabia. Oh, but anyways, Russia, Saudi Arabia, I mean US, Saudi Arabia, Russia, Lead packed for record cuts and oil output. Uh, yeah, where's there's a bunch of mess. There's a bunch of other ones. These are kind of late, but uh, even like Trump, Trump congratulates uh, Vladimir Putin and uh, Mohammed bin Salam for reaching a deal. Da da da. -da. There's a tweet that uh, Trump put put up, but uh. You know, whenever Trump tweets, you know the market's gonna go up by some sort of percentage. So I'm thinking that by tomorrow morning, <laughs> um, we're gonna see uh, this area, 252, I think to start with, and uh, probably go up to like $3. <laughs> So if you can get in early tomorrow morning, then you can make some money. But uh, yeah, so this is kind of my analysis on uh, why I changed my position from SEO to UCO. And uh, yeah, I know I've been kind of preaching about 
SEO for a while, but I was technically right. If you took the time to ride this wave, you would have definitely made a decent percentage. I, out of this whole thing, I was able to make, I think in total of $500. So, which is cool, super thankful for that. But I could have definitely gotten more if I really stuck to my guts, like I initially planned on doing. But I didn't, that's fine. As we can see that uh, <clears throat> since the announcement, So this was the ninth. So this was the ninth right here. Oh my. So this is the ninth where I just made the made these graphs right here in between this. This is the ninth. And now we're at the 12th today. And based off of just that tweet, and this is before market hours, way before market hours, once the US market opens for everybody Monday morning, then I believe we could be at starting at 27, 28 and above. So I expect all of that. Like I think I already put my alert at, uh, let me see. Didn't put. It? Oh, I guess I didn't put an alert up, but I'm expecting to see highs of 33 because you know the deal that was made, even though it's only for two months and it's 10 million uh, barrels per day, that would be basically cut out of the market you know it's still a lot and it's a lot of good optimism towards the crude oil market right now for the whole country in total so it'll it'll definitely bring uh stability back into the market so for the next two months probably this month in may i'll definitely trade uco off and on because I want to know that like demand is still there though. Like if you don't, if it's just supply, 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 and there's no demand because of uh, Corona, <clears throat> then, or the C word, then you, you don't really want to trade it. But if you start seeing like people going back to work, people start flying places, people being able to drive, not just in the US, but all over the world, that's a great sign to stick with UCO ASAP. Like this will have the potential of going much higher. I think ultimately we could reach up in the, uh, let me go back, up in the probably $10 range. Like I 10, yeah, $12 maybe 15 if we're lucky, but that might have to be long-term as well. Anyways, with that being said, I think you all need to subscribe, like, comment, give me some feedback. It only takes a second, come on, give me that like. You know, it takes my, my, it takes my own time to do this, to do the reading, to do the analysis and I'll just appreciate y'all if you just give me a like, give me a comment. But at the end of the day, I appreciate y'all. It's Profit Junkie. Y'all have a good day. Peace.